So hey guys and welcome back to Born Traveller and welcome to Belgrade in Serbia. Apparently there's a fort and some other things. So we're going to have a look around Belgrade and see what we can see. Okay, let's get started. So that's the bus we've got to catch, bus 15. Hopefully that'll take the right way. Right, so there's a castle you can see, so we're going to go and see that first. Um, one thing I've noticed about Belgrade, unfortunately, everything's on a bloody hill, so not the best capital city I've ever been to, because you can't climb a lot of hills. The actual name of it is Kalamedum, but uh, it's actually called Belgrade Fort on Google Maps, so take your pick which one you want to call it. So this is the park that's around the fort, it's quite big. This is the things you can see. The end of the Middle Ages, tower, medieval torture devices, the gate, Roman well, bunker, uh, gunpowder warehouse, and a tower. Wow. Could you look at that? Wow, that's crazy. So it's right by the river as well. Oh, this is fabulous. As you can see, the river's here. There's loads of uh, cafes and stuff. There's also boat trips. Maybe tomorrow I'll try and do a boat trip. Maybe. To be honest, more than anything, it surprised me how multicultural Belgrade is because the Balkans have been so far. I've not seen many foreigners, but here I've seen quite a few, you just saw that jogger, quite a few Asian black people here. So there's people from all over the world here. Um, so it's definitely multi, more multicultural here. More European probably than like Balkan. So here we go. Here's kind of the first part of the, of the fort. So the whole grounds, obviously, the fort and the you know, this outside wall is the outside wall, basically. Picture here actually gives us a bit more impression what it is. This, you know, this is the old fort here. So it looks like there was a moat. So they, obviously this would have been filled with water. This is what we call a moat. This would have been filled with water. And there would have been a drawbridge originally. There would have been a wooden drawbridge that they would lift up. So probably half the bridge Half of it would be built already, and then that middle bit would drop down. Look at this view, look at this, it's fabulous. It's a big river as well. So, so yeah, so that's where I started that bridge there, and that's where we'll finish. So they built a nice tower here, nice statue. So this is the room well. Hello. How Hello. much is it? How much? 120. 120. Here, here's the Roman well. It costs 120 dinara, which is just about a dollar really. So it's pretty cheap. Let's go have a look. See what there is. It's a Roman well. Um, it smells damp in here to start with straight away. Uh, quite amazing. Wow. The well was built in the period 1717 to 1731. So they thought this was Roman, but it wasn't. It was only, it was built about 400 years ago. That is really, really deep. And the water, st there's still water down there. Wow. So the noise that's rather there is an effect. There's no ghost or anything. I was thinking there's a ghost of the well or something, but no. But it was a significant well because you know, any kind of siege they had drinking water and it's so deep you couldn't really contaminate it easily there's a military museum here and one of the great things we might be able to see this today and what's there apparently is wreckage from the stealth aircraft that was shot down in the 90s uh the the plane that couldn't be shot down was shot down here over belgrade and there's wreckage from one of the b117 stealth bombers from america so that'd be quite interesting to see oh this is the military museum oh wow Look at this. So 
so stuff. If you watch this channel, you know I'm a geek for military stuff. Uh, I love it. So we'll, we'll have a quick gander of these. Oh, I'm loving this. This is brilliant. So this looks like a German tank from the Second World War. Quite a small one though. Uh, yeah, most of this, most of this stuff's German by the shape of it. That's German. Pretty sure that's German. Yeah, by the writing as well, it's German. Wow. So this is like a field artillery. You just carry this round. Still can fire about seven miles. Though. Quite devastating. Little tank. Never seen one of these before. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> they get smaller. <laughs> Polish tankette. You gotta give it to the Polish. That's pretty cool, isn't it? One direct here, you'd all die, but pretty cool. The armor's the armor's about oh, it's about an inch thick. So this is a French tank. Wow. Right. So the British were the ones who invented the tank. And then in 1916, then 17, uh, the French and, and the Germans started to produce their own. When you've got trench warfare, these things were fantastic because troops could stand behind it and, you know, bullets could hit this all day and nothing happened. Um, yeah, that is a proper part of history, that is. That's lovely. So th there's more. There's more. There's loads more. have not even gone inside yet. So this one here is a US light tank. I thought it was a Sherman, but it says it's a Stuart. Um, that was the problem with the American tanks and the British tanks, they weren't big enough. The German tanks were much bigger. Uh, I don't know where, where, what this one is. This is a, so this is a German tank, but th this is the only small one. I don't think they've got a Tiger here. They had something called a Tiger tank, which was much bigger and massive. Um, this one here, you can see the tracks have been taken off it. It's probably damaged. So we've seen Polish, German, uh, American, British stuff, there's Italian stuff here. Quite amazing how many different countries they've got. I haven't seen any Russian, but I might be wrong. Maybe there is a Russian one. That's German by the looks of the name. And this one. Now the Russians did have their own tanks. This again is a this is another American one. Oh, this is a special exhibit with the torture devices. So here is the Medieval Torture Instrument Special Exhibit. Costs 300 an hour, so it's pretty cheap. Okay, let's go in. So here's an executioner, you can see his axe here. So they would use these to remove like nails, hot pincers, removing nails, and, yeah, or, you know, pulling off your fingers. Horrible. This is this is a chastity belt to stop. This would stop women from uh, cheating on the husbands. It looks like it's made of. Looks like it's gold plated. The iron shoe to stop you running away. This one's interesting. The iron gag stop you from talking. Not going to say anything, but I think a few men could uh, do with one of them. <laughs> so here, I've never seen one of these before. This is what they call the rack. Very used in England, like medieval running. So you put somebody on there, and then you stretch them, and it basically pulls them apart. You pull, you put the legs in there, and you wind it, and it pulls the body and stretches them. Gruesome, absolutely gruesome. But confessions came quickly. This was all about getting confessions from people. Ah, this is the military museum. I don't know if it's open there. This is the place I want to go to, because I say, it's supposed to have the stealth aircraft wreckage. So let's go and have a look if it's still got it. So to be honest, that's one of the best military museums I've ever seen in the world. My God, have they got some kit. <clears throat> They've got the old stuff, the new stuff. they got more weapons you haven't seen, like from the Second World War, the First World War. Um, going back to the Ottoman Empire, they've even got... I just can't believe how much, how much stuff they've got. What I will say is a couple of things. You have to put your bag and your camera in a locker. They won't let you film. I didn't even bother trying to film because the scud is pretty tight. When you leave, they make you go through a scanner to make sure you're not taking anything. Although I was the only person who seemed to have to do that. So I think it's just foreigners or dodgy looking me. I don't know. Disappointingly, I didn't see any of the stealth record. So there was some F-16 wreckage, but not the stealth. So um, yeah, I don't know, maybe Maybe I've got the wrong place. Maybe there's another military museum. I'll have to check on the internet tonight and see if I can 
find the place. If not, it doesn't matter, but really worth it. One of the best military museums in the world I've ever seen. Like, they've got German equipment, British, like, they've got stuff from all over the world, like, American. Um, some of the weapons I've never seen before in a museum, like the, like a Thompson, they've got the Sten gun, they've got the, uh, the MP40 from the Second World War, Vickers, you know, the, the, the famous one from the First World War, like the old style, style like a Vickers, um, or Lewis, like machine guns that used to plough everyone down in the First World War. Fabulous place, really, really good, really recommend that.